day I ever had because the surprise and the Omega singing that song and, and stuff it almost made me cry, you know. But <laughs> I said, I gotta be strong, you know. And like Donald said, my husband got sick when uh, all of a sudden I think was 15 and you were 12 and Joe was seven, right? So don't can't nobody tell me what a woman can't do. Being a Catholic, but I go to anybody's church right now. I sent my children from Catholic schools from grade one through high school. Donald and his brother is a graduate of Hale Francisca. And by the way, when Donald graduated from Hale Francisca High School, he received the Mayor Daly, the one that died, he made a daily scholarship award because the priest told me, the principal at school said, because all the four years he went to Hale, that they had never had to reprimand Donald for nothing, so he got a $500 scholarship, which was part of his interest to Lewis University. And he's been to Africa, he's been to Egypt. <laughs> you went too, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Who was the man that sent you to Africa? Kennedy Charles Kennedy. He was in charge of what? Uh, yeah. And like when my husband died, I think 12 years ago, it was so inspiring. When my husband died, it was like 14 degrees below zero. It was cold. It was too cold to have the funeral in church, but you had at a funeral ball. The amazing thing was that Omega Psi Phi fraternity had a big old floral piece, purple and gold that had sent sitting at the foot of my husband Cassie. What was most inspiring to me was that to see Mr. Kennedy, Charles Kennedy, was in charge of minority affairs at Lewis University, who helped us in down to Lewis and one But coming back to my husband's funeral, it was inspiring to see Mr. Kennedy was led to the weight. Somebody was held and holding him by both arms. You know, that really inspired me.